Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're gonna see how to perform string operations. Without getting delayed, let's get into the concept. So, first, let me type Python inside these quotes. So, what is this? Yes, this is a string. So, whenever you type something inside these quotes, either it be a single quote or a double quote, that is known as a string. So let me type 1. So what is this one? This is an integer. And let me type 2.3. And obviously this is a float since the decimal point comes over there. So let me type 1 inside these quotes. Yes, now it becomes a string. Did you see that? So let's see how to add two strings. Which operator do you use for addition? Obviously, it's a plus operator. It's a plus operator. So let me use two strings now. Let hello be the first string and let world be the second string. Now let me press the enter. Here we have the first string and the second string got added and there's the output. You might wonder why is the space missing. So to get the space let me leave a space over here. So now let's press enter. There's the output. Hello world. So now let's try this on the numbers. So if we type 1 plus 2 so basically this is a normal operation the answer that we'll get is 3 so now let's try with strings 1 and 2 inside the quotes can you guess the answer yes it won't be 3 instead it's 12 so this is how the strings get added so let's try one more let's select two and let me select five now let's press enter here we have 25 so next let me use one inside the quotes and let this be an integer now let's try this Yes, there's a traceback. So, you can only add two strings, whereas you cannot add a string with an integer. So, moving on to the next. Now, let's try multiplication. Let me type Python inside the string and let me use a multiplication operator and let me type a number. Here we have the Python is printed thrice so let me just leave a space so that it will be easy for us to read here we have the Python is printed thrice so let's try with a different number let me leave a space and let's try 10 or let it be 12 let me press enter. Here we have it has printed 12 times. So let me try another one, which is let Python be a string and let even 12 be also the string instead of being an integer. Now let's try multiplying it. Oops, there's a traceback again. So now the main thing that you have to understand is like it's a point to remember you can add two strings like over here the one plus two we'll we have got the answer as 12 you can add two strings but you can't add a string with an integer like this over here and you can multiply a string with an integer whereas you can't multiply a string with a string. 
so that's a note that you have to keep in mind so now I'm gonna give you a small task so I want you guys to print this I am a polite person the full stop I want you guys to print this thrice I want this as the output so if you wish to try it out just pause this video and carry on so now I'm gonna give you the answer for that which is let me use the print function and let me type all those who are all those are present inside that I I plus M plus a plus polite use the plus operator again and person with a full stop and close this so I'm gonna print this thrice so this is fine I've got this thrice so let me try it over here so I have to leave a space over here so person polite so that it will be easy for us to read now let me press enter here we have the output is much more clear and clean so that it helps a reader to read so next I'm gonna use a slash n which is the new line that you might have learned from the previous lecture so now press enter here we have the output that's it I'm a polite person so that's it for this lecture thank you